Greetings, everybody. I am Joyce Geek, and the focus of this Finnegan's Wake pronunciation tutorial is Thunder Word number two. And before we move into this word, I'd like to recommend that if you haven't taken the tutorial for the first Thunder Word, do so before you move on to this one. Uh, not just because I give an overall introduction to what Joyce was doing, and I think that's pretty essential, but also because these words, and again, there are 10 of them, these words, when you take them in sequence actually do have something of like a narrative arc to them. I mean, maybe not necessarily a narrative arc, but definitely a beginning, a middle, and an end. So with that caveat, here we go. Thunder word number two appears on page 23. Do you see it? Do you see it? Keep looking. Look up there near the top. Yeah, voila! Now, one last thing before we do this. Um, notice up there at the very top of this page, uh, we have uh, we have there, uh, starting on the top line, like a rud yellen grubleen orangeman in his violet indigenation. Well, that's running through the rainbow colors. That should be pretty obvious, right? Um, there is a rainbow in this paragraph. In fact, the paragraph in which this thunder word appears uh, does indeed describe a thunderstorm, complete with wind, rain, lightning, thunder, of course, and a rainbow, which actually, if you notice, takes place above the thunder word. And you may ask, what on earth is thunder doing coming after a rainbow? Shouldn't the rainbow be the last item in this sequence? Well, you know, perhaps the only answer to this question, the best answer certainly, is author's prerogative. But, but really, even better than that, it's dreamer's prerogative. After all, Finnegan's Wake is a dream novel. And in the landscape of dreams, not everything happens in a nice, tidy sequence. Anyway, here's the word. Um, and I'll go ahead and give it the arc of a rainbow for those purists out there so that the rainbow can come at the end. Ready? Per cod huskurun bar gruau ya gotgor liar grom grimit gundher thruma thuna rada dilly fate tilly bumala nukkanan. Isn't PowerPoint wonderful? Um, and here it is again. Per cod huskurun bar gruau ya gotgor liar grom grimit gundher thruma thuna rada dilly fate tilly bumala nukkanan. So, you do the exact same thing with this word as you did pre previous. Um, and I should just mention, Joyce constructed thunder word number two using the exact same principles as he did before. Everything culled from the word for thunder in one language or another. Um, there is an interesting difference here, though. Uh, I think Joyce points out a rather striking difference between cultures. For one thing, uh, here in the English-speaking world, we have our word thunder... Um, which, again, you see it there, glossing thuna. Um, and that's the word we use to describe thunder. Thunder. And we leave it at that. Um, and it seems perfectly reasonable to do so. Uh, but then, if you go to, say, Lithuania, for example, you come across the word perkunas, and then griauja, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, and then uh, dundulis as well. Uh, and those are three among more words for thunder in Lithuania alone. And you tack on to that the Latvian word perkons and the Finnish word ukonin. That's all just this little postage stamp of real estate up in northeastern Europe. And look at all these different words they have for thunder. It makes you wonder what on earth is going on up there. Um, anyway, so here are the remainder of the words uh, for thunder in all these different languages, and I'll just run through them very quickly. Kurun is the Breton word. Barg is the Persian word. Um, then Gokgurlior is Turkish for thunder. Uh, Gromgrimit is the, is the Russian. Um, the Malaysian word is Guntur. Uh, in Iceland, they say Thruma when they want to describe thunder. Uh, Romania, Thuna. So it's not just English that's there. Um, then in Swahili, uh, we have Radi. And then um, and then. A Fetitili in Samoan. <laughs> oh, boy, that's fun. Um, and then uh, Bumuloj in Albanian. And then, uh, again, we finish off with the Finnish, um, <laughs> with Ukonin. And uh, so, uh, repeat after me. Let's go through these syllables one at a time. Perkod hus. Good. Kurun. Bargruauja. Gokgorlayar, 
Grom Grimmit, Gundhur, Thruma, Thuna, Radidili, Faititili, Bumalun, Akanun. And just like we did before, we're going to string them together. So here we go. Ready? Perkad Huskarun, Bargrua Yagakgolayar, Grom Grimmit Gunther, Thromathona, Radidili Fatitili, Bamala Nakanan. And after you've practiced those a bit, you can move on to stringing them even more together, like so. Perkad Huskurun Bargrua Yagakgolayar, Grom Grimmit Gunther Thrumathuna, Radidili Faititili Bamala Nakkanan. Good. And so that's it. Perkat Huskurun Bargrua Yagakgolayar, Grom Grimmit Gunther Thrumathuna, Radidili Faititili Bamala Nakkanan. And that's Thunderword number two.